take a look at your screen. See this? It's a tiny chip, but this is something that makes a big difference in whether your family pet comes back home if it ever gets lost. Today is National Check the Chip Day. Jorge Ortega is the with us in the studio, director of Guilford County Animal Services. And these really do make a difference. They really bring pets back home, don't they? They do, especially for us and our field officers where each one of them carries a scanner in their mm -hmm. vehicle. So if we do come across a lost pet, we can scan that pet in the field and return the pet to the home right away, right in, you know, like in real time, mm -hmm. instead of having that pet come into the shelter. They're very small, about the size of a grain of rice, right? right? And then if you want to get this done for your pet, which is always a great idea, we're seeing, again, see how small it is there. How long does it take to get this done? It's a very simple process. It's not a surgery. It's an mm -hmm. injection. Mm -hmm. um, it Basically, goes, just like getting a shot. Right. It goes in between the shoulder blades of, of your pet. Um, it's permanently there. You, there's no batteries. There's no electronics. Um, and it's there for the life of the pet. You make a great point that sometimes uh, the pet doesn't even have to go to animal services, you can get it right back to their home if, if they find that. that Correct, and we we at Guilford County have partnered with a couple of businesses in in our community that also have been provided with microchip scanners. That you know, you if you do mm -hmm. find a pet, you can take them to these locations and and scan the pet there. Once you get it done, you register your information, and here's the important part: right. if you move, if you change your phone number. You want to update that because, you know, years down the road, if that's changed, they won't be able to get in touch with you. Right. Our, our main goal is to reunite that lost pet with its mm -hmm. owner. So we really encourage everyone, if you are moving, updating your phone number, any of your personal information, any of your pet's microchip, make sure you take the time to update that information. It just helps us reunite you and the pet quicker. This is something that a lot of pet owners say, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. Today's the day to get it done. It's relatively easy. Now, you routinely do it with, with animals that come through the, the, the sure. center there, and, and, but you could do this at any vet or, or a lot of different places. Right. Yeah, you can consult with your veterinarian or find a veterinarian. Uh, they'll be happy to do this. All are adopted, you know, dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. Each one of them hit, receives a microchip, you know, before they go home. So, yeah, I, I definitely encourage everyone to have a microchip. It is a permanent, lifelong identification to reunite you with your lost pet. And so easy to do it's and keep easy. the information updated. That's why we, today's check the chip day. Just yep. make sure that you, not first that your pet has one, that you're doing it the right way. We appreciate your advice. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. And, and, and the dogs and cats are going to be a lot happier for it. Yep. Cindy.